basically you can see that there's been a sun exposed rash here uh, where the arm was out gardening yesterday and I bet you even had sunscreen on. I did, yeah. I did. And you can Dr. See. Lynn Ludmer isn't looking for signs of skin cancer on her patient. Patty Nestor's rash is a sign of something else. At Mercy Medical Center, she's being treated for lupus. I woke up feeling very achy, a fever. By the time I went downstairs and sat in a chair, I couldn't even move my eyes. Um, everything in my entire body was just hurting, very painful. Um, in time, I got a little bit better, and five days later, I broke out in a rash from head to toe. All symptoms of lupus, which is an autoimmune disease that mainly affects women before menopause. Lupus can cause a variety of nonspecific issues like joint and muscle pain. Sometimes there can be weight loss. Fatigue is a big problem for people. That is one of the main complaints that patients have with lupus and rashes. There can also be hair loss and damage to internal organs. Symptoms that don't go away shouldn't be ignored. And after a lupus diagnosis, treatment involves addressing individual issues. So if it's rashes, it may be just creams that can be prescribed for the rashes. If it's joint pain, it might be something as easy as something like Tylenol, Advils, or Aleves. Obviously, if we're talking about brain disease or kidney disease, then we're talking about medications that would suppress the immune system. In Patty's case, a good diet and exercise have been extremely helpful, and she says her relationship with Dr. Ludmer has been critical. From the moment I met her, we connected, and I think that's what it is all about. You need to have a connection and a relationship with your doctor who listens, and is not just looking for a one-shot deal prescription for you, um, it's the whole wellness plan and being able to talk it through and see how you're feeling.